How's it? So today we are exploring Salt River Festival of Public Arts making progress possible <laughs> together an initiative of the city of Cape Town and Baz Art so Salt River is an old neighborhood very close to the central business district of Cape Town very multicultural and I used to stay here when I was a student and now we're staying here again exploring the city and the graffiti from different artists around the world and we'll take you along on our daily excursion. Karin spotted this piece of public art called Beyond Walls while jogging on the Seapoint Promenade and that motivated us to go and discover the Cape Town International Public Arts Festival hosted in Salt River. Please remember to like subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of all our new videos. Stop number two on exploring Salt River. Fascinating how the more you look the more detail you see. My one wheel of my wheelchair came off the rim as I was standing on a steep incline trying to get a better picture. Luckily we could get some tools together and I could get the wheel back on in a jiffy. The wheelchair always makes my life interesting, challenging me and making sure I can get the solutions going quickly. The more we look, the more we find. Um, and the more you look at each one, the more detail you see. <laughs> it changes your mind a bit about graffiti and art. It's always um, humorous um, watching Karin um, navigate. You're not always successful, but always humorous. No, you should, she must learn. It's no use that I do it. Hello. Yes. Something I learned today is that in the deep dark days of apartheid, Indian people could not buy property in Salt River unless it was linked to a grocery store. And that's why you used to see a um, a lot of corner grocery shops. There's still quite a few open, but some some of us. Oh, they there and first left. We following them as well. Okay. Are you lost? Are you lost like us? So that's why you see all these small grocery stores. There used to be a, about one on every third or second or, or, or fourth block. Now 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 there's still a lot left over, and I never knew why. Today I learned that. All right, we found our whole nest. By pure chance, we hooked up with a group going from artwork to artwork, listening to the artists explain what the art's about and seeing them sign their artwork. They can feed off other animals, but the whale is the only living animal that produces enough nutrients for these plants to I never thought that seeing a picture would end up like this. Um, my collaboration with the balls is something we've been talking about. And the idea is um, the, the lady with her fishbowl helmet thing is sucking moisture from the clouds and that goes up into the tap which feeds the bonsai. Another thing is that also just sort of happened organically. Buffy hates it when I use the word organically. 
but I use it every single day, like, <laughs> is the hearts. So that just sort of happened and became part of the, the whole mural. And then the bubbles, <laughs> which is also another sort of side thought, uh, and the pigeons. The pigeons are basically, we haven't finished yet, but in their little bottles, is the word water in different languages. The festival had a bit of a treasure hunt feel as you could keep looking to see where you could find more art. Some of it was still in the making. So this art was created to get people to get, come together again. Neighbors, kids, families, parents and children. And as the artist told us, they had fun creating it. I really love the art at this festival. From the biggest to the smallest, made of paint and mosaic. All different perspectives and cultures coming together. There's art for putting this great festival together. Hi. <laughs> Maybe breakfast, you know, unfortunately they are not here now. I did not plan that, but yeah, so and then even uh, the owner of the car has been very nice to me. <laughs> Girl, yeah, to see, yeah, so I assisted me to, you know, to sweep the street, you know, to prepare some of the things. Uh, and yeah, so I decided to give him a present here. And yeah, so... Did you ask him first? <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 Art was quite difficult to access. Some were behind bars and parking lots, and that became part of the artwork itself. And we decided to address the issues of the current situation in Salt River. We all know the history from the Khoi Khoi and Guinea, etc. through to Muslim, to Christian, to apartheid, etc. But we are addressing the issues that are here today. How are we addressing the sensitive topic of gentrification? How are we including our communities with the work that we do? And we are saying that all of us can do this together. Thank you to the people of Salt River for sharing her story with us. It was great spending the day in your neighborhood. We are looking at the neighborhood with new eyes. And we will definitely be back for more. We hope you've enjoyed this video with us. Please remember to hit the like, to subscribe to our channel and to hit that bell icon to get notified of all new videos. Thank you to our Patreons, it's you that make these videos possible. If you would like to support us, go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels.